Here we go. No, we're good. We're already <laughs> recorded. Sweet start to this one, ladies and gentlemen. It is Terry Bean here with Janet E. Johnson for another fun, exciting episode of Business Growth Time. Today, we're going to be talking about the customer journey through online marketing courses and the funnels that you need to get them into. Very excited about it. I mentioned Janet E. Johnson. I didn't give you the E. It's going to stand for early bird because she's getting out there and getting it done. And I'm so excited for her. Let's hear what's going on. Janet, how you doing? <laughs> early bird. Okay. Early bird. That's an E word. Definitely. I was wondering what you meant by early bird, but I guess you explained it. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 You got to explain these things, Janet. They don't live on their own, kid. You know, it's, it's one of those things. Ernie needs to know what the heck these things mean and why they exist. <laughs> Well, your ease, sometimes none of us understand this, <laughs> but I don't blame you. I don't blame you a bit. You have to come up with so many. So. Yeah, couldn't you have a name that didn't require a middle initial? Wouldn't that have been nice? <laughs> couldn't you spend, like, there's no Terry R. Bean. I don't have to come up with an R. You don't have to come up with an R. Have you noticed that? Uh, don't even start me there because you're more creative. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't leave it on you. You don't want, uh, don't want to put Janet on the spot like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So early bird. Okay, so we're going to be talking about today the online customer journey. And yeah, and honestly, early bird is probably good. Let's talk about the early bird because the, what right now, um, I'm a few weeks early on starting this because you have to prep. You have to think about what exactly is that customer journey going to be ahead of time? So much planning. I, I had no idea a because lot. I'm looking at starting an online course too. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll just make some phone calls and I'll say, hey, get in this course. Hey, get in this course. But you just, you said it best, right? We have, we have a little bit of conversation before we get on to these things. And we were talking about the difference between a warm audience, right? People that you already know that like you and trust you in a cold audience with folks that have no idea who you are. And that's really what this funnel is going to be for, right? Both. Yep. It'll be a combo of both. Okay. Yep. But um, let's look at it. Let's start with, first off, you want to think of what's the end goal. Okay. So for, for in the end, my goal with mine is I run a social strategies 101 community. So this is a community where people pay on a monthly basis. And uh, my offer in the end will be uh, for a one-year membership, and it will be a special deal. So that's just FYI, that's where I'm going. Okay. Uh, there will be special bonuses offered. There will be special things with this launch of the funnel that we're going to be talking about. So that's where I'm going. And then you're working on something. So let's talk about what you're working on and where you're headed. What's your end potential? So I am not anywhere near as far along as where you are. I'm still in the content phase, right? Trying to create what that value proposition, what that hook is. And then I'll have to figure out what that platform and what the community looks like. But to some extent, I'm thinking it's going to be fairly similar where it'll be a monthly membership goal or not goal, but a monthly membership club. It'll probably be a private Facebook group similar to where yours is. Um, and then it'll be, you know, X amount of content that shows up on a weekly basis that'll have specific tasks. And I'm thinking about mine on being a connector, right? Teaching people kind of how to be Terry Bean, right? How to be in that influencer marketing type space, in that relationship marketing space, and, and how to just continually network people together where you get that that name recognition, that brand recognition as somebody who is a, a cute little helper monkey. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> cute little helper monkey. Is there did, a monkey I say, behind me? did I say cute? I, I meant little helper monkey. I, I threw cute in just because, you know, helper monkeys seem cute. Uh, like Pray for mojo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a tail. I didn't know what kind of animal it was. I thought maybe. Uh, that's good. Okay. So, so. There's, um, and there's a couple, and I've uh, even run this by my mastermind group too. In the end, you could do, um, the, the fastest way for somebody to launch would be just do a four week course, four week video course where you go live with them on Zoom or you go live with them on something um, and boom, you have a product to sell. That's your mm -hmm. fastest. Yeah. But then um, having that community behind it is another way to add a layer to it and be able to charge on a monthly 
ongoing basis. So there's a couple ways that you can do that, and it's up to you if you want to have take people directly to a community or directly to a course, and then maybe say, oh, and by the way, I have this community as an upsell type thing. You know, you can do it any way you choose, but my my opinion of it. Do it the fastest way, simple, and test it before you go building a huge community. Because mm. the bottom line is if you haven't tested it and you go spending money on ads or whatever you do and it, it flops, well, you know what? Then, oh, well, you move on to the next thing and go, okay, maybe that didn't work. So that's why um, I've had enough people in my community now. I've done the beta testing for it where I even did a feedback thing. And I even asked if people didn't, what they did not like about it. And, you know, you kind of hold your breath a little bit when you ask that question <laughs> and you see the answers. But either people were trying to be nice or I just got no feedback at all. Like everybody said, like everything. Don't, there's nothing I don't like about it. So I had none. Um, and lots of feedback on what they did like about it. So I always think that that feedback on what can be improved, right, or what changed or what were you hoping to get right however you ask that question and it really is important how you ask that question that's where the learning comes from right if people are stroking you and telling you what a great job you did and like, how well how everything works exactly. right it, you, you're gonna be like yeah, yeah i'm like well so, okay i guess i'll keep doing the same thing but you know i did have one that said they wanted to be alerted sooner on the the um Oh, so now you're a liar. So well, you just got done saying you didn't well, have any. Yeah, no, I forgot. Well, that's not a big deal. No, but the bottom line is I kind of laughed. Ginormous. I kind of laughed. Cambridge Analytica big. <laughs> bottom line is they do actually, I do it the same time and same date every month. So it is told ahead of time, but I guess I got to remind them better. That mm, that's right, Janity yeah. Johnson. I've been running Motor City Connect on the fourth Tuesday of the month for three years. You think people know when the hell Motor City Connect is? <laughs> exactly. It's a constant, and you got to do it at the last minute, too. So like, oh, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Exactly. Well, <laughs> let me share my screen, and I'm going to show you the funnel, and I'm going to walk through it. Uh, if you are listening, I will do my best to... Um, share with you so that you're understanding it, but it, listen carefully. And if you want to, we'll make sure that we put this funnel, we'll actually put this into as a download for you in the notes. So if you are listening, you may want to pause and go to a place where you can actually watch <laughs> right now. Oh, I've got all sorts of things open. Hold on. Oh, well, maybe all not right. right now. Maybe more like now, now. Got it. Oh, now is good. <laughs> okay. So we're looking at this uh, four- I am going to be running, so my offer, okay, you need to start at the beginning with a free offer. It could be a free ebook, it could be a free webinar, it could be a free anything, it, mine is a free offer. And what I want to do is tell you where I built this, and um, so that you could go do the same thing. It's called lucidchart.com, L-U-C-I-D chart.com so i wanted to show you that and make sure that you know about it it's free uh they do have an upgrade but i have never needed oh, that. hold on hold on before you click out of this let's walk through steps one through eight. Oh, because... i'm going i just want to pull it up i think i have a better um way to show it to you it is uh, let's see what this looks like but hello all right, let's see if we can get this bigger. Yep. How's that? That's awesome. Okay. So you have to see my print on the side. Or, I know there's no way to do it, but. Exactly the same as it was. One of the two. Is it really? Okay, <laughs> hold on. Let me go bigger. There. That might help a little bit. Huge. All right. So number one. So go back, prefacing again. Giveaway. What is my giveaway? So I will be doing a four day video challenge. And um, the one thing that, that, that might hinder me, so I, I think you gotta think hard even about what your challenge is, is people are afraid of video. So I will be adding something in there with free four day simple video challenge or simple social video challenge. I haven't titled it exactly, but it's gonna be four days. And here's how it's going to work. 
this is my email list. So number one would be the people I already have on my list. I run a meetup that has 3,500 people. That's actually an email list. I got all the, I have all those emails. Um, I have about a thousand on my actual other email list in AWeber. And obviously the, you know, we don't need to talk about all the different social media sites, but you know, the Facebook, the Instagram, all those places have a lot of following already. So there's organic social and we're gonna start there, but we are going to tell them about this free video challenge and they will have to opt in, in some format or another, opt in to join this free video challenge. What this does by putting it out to your old email list, your prior email list, is it kind of re-engages them. So that's why I think it's a good thing to know, you know, who really has the interest. And if you're gonna do that, remove them from the old email list. So there's a way to do that in your email settings just so that they're not on two email lists. That's my suggestion to you. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. How often are you hitting that email list? When was the last time these folks would have heard from you and what did they Every hear week. from you about? Okay. Every week. Every so week. They're, they're very, media. and it's usually something that's going to be of value to them, lessons you've learned that you're trying to share and empower them. And so it's not like, hey, here's an offer, here's an offer, here's an offer, here's an offer, here's another offer. Check out this offer. Yep. Yep. Got no, it. the email list is, there's offers built in, but then there is just, you know, come to my free weekly, you know, Facebook live show. Um, you know, here's a new, well, obviously our podcast and different things that we have a lot of free content out there. So yeah, we just talk about the latest changes on social media or whatever. Mine's all related around the world of social media. Of course, that's my world. But Not surprising. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, in reality, yeah, I mean, I do all this. If you look, you know, once you see all this, it's, it's not just social media by any means. Um, but number two would be paid. So what I'm looking at for this launch will be paid Facebook ads and also paid, uh, potentially I'm looking to test some YouTube ads too. So for me, those are the two places that I'm going to look mainly Facebook advertising, a little bit of Instagram advertising. So how does this work? What, where do we go from? We tell them about this video challenge. Where are they going to go to sign up? Well, we're going to have two different tests. So we are going to do it through email list building, but we will also do it through messenger marketing. So we're going to do it through both. These would be two completely different ads. Um, for an email list, people that are already on your email list, what I will be doing is taking them to the messenger marketing because they're already on my email list, but they're not in my messenger as a subscriber. Um, right now, uh, hopefully this, by the time this podcast actually goes live, hopefully Facebook figures it out with the messenger marketing, but right now you cannot hook up a new page with, um, like a third party app, which is many chat is what I'm using for the messenger marketing. Fortunately, I was in the game before they put those restrictions on. So I already have mine connected up. So I can do this. So for those of you following along at home, if you haven't already started, it's too late. But it will happen. It will get come around. But yeah, pay attention. To, you know, if you want to do the messenger marketing. There Bug are Janet. Ways. Just ask Aunt Janet. She'll tell you when it's <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Don't ask me. I won't know. <laughs> So if in messenger marketing, I would take my, my warm audience there for sure. And then I'm going to test both sides of it with the Facebook ads. Now, if you look in the middle here, where do the arrow point from the email list and the messenger marketing? It doesn't go direct from here, but it only goes, what is in the middle, Terry? Your Facebook group, Janet E. Johnson, your teacher is shining through right there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you teach elementary yeah. school way back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my and yeah you got, you got, education. You got that second grade questioning going on, kid. <laughs> that's what we hit me do. right where I live. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I hope you guys are getting a kick out of this too. Um, all right. So doesn't matter. Meaning, so they're going to be told in the email first email campaign or the first messenger, join the group to participate in this challenge. Now with the group, will everybody join the group? No, not necessarily, but 
that's the goal is to have them participate in the group and be part of your group too. And Will there be two different groups though? Because is this, it, look, if I took it, the social strategies 101, that's a paid private group. Yeah, it won't be going to that group. Nope, that it won't be going to, well, and Terry, we haven't decided yet. I might just do this through business growth time to, to jolt. we could do it through there just to boost it up. The bottom line is, they go there and we have a four day video challenge. So all, or all we do is one day, day one, I will post a video on the video challenge and then people will be in the comments and commenting and we'll be interacting with each other all. So it will really get the engagement going and it will get the trust building. Uh, that is key is it's building trust before they even, and learning to know who you are before you even bring them to even a free webinar. It's a, mm. it's a layer that I've seen others do time and time again, and it's, it's more work, sure, but how much more likely are you to convert to a sale if you do something like this? So I'm spending four different days with each, per, each of the individuals in the Facebook group. They'll be getting a message in Messenger. They'll be getting an email too, but we're always going to want to drive the, the communication through the Facebook group. Got it. So day one, day two, day three, day four, and it will be boom, 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 all four days in a row. So it'll be day five then, then we, we bring it into the webinar. So now we're going to take them from any of these three places because maybe they didn't join the Facebook group. So we want to communicate through all three places and talk about this free webinar. Now this free webinar will actually lead from the video challenge. So it has to be similar content. So you're gonna, you can't just change out the content completely. So mm -hmm. it's going to be talking about videos and what they, the power of videos and what they can do with these videos to take it to the next level and to convert to a sale. Um, <clears throat> it, my, my webinar presentation is actually gonna be even more than just videos, but that's gonna be a piece of it. So that will be brought, so taking them now from the challenge to the webinar. That makes perfect sense. And so the webinar will be open and will you, will you also put add dollars to the webinar or is it everything's got to go just this funnel? You could, you could, and it all probably is going to depend on, um, I would definitely be sending out that free webinar to the old email list and my meetup list, all those different places, if that makes sense. It does. It does. And it then, does. You know, so you would direct the webinar, but the people that are gonna are more engaged are more likely to show up for your webinar mm -hmm. and more likely to buy your products. That makes perfect sense. Okay. So yeah, so you could so put more money into it, you know, behind the webinar, but it depends on how your turnout rate already, you know, your what where your numbers are at too. Do you have an expectation of how many people you want to see at that webinar? Yeah, I mean, that's something that we talked about too. And, and that's something that, I mean, there's average conversion rates of the webinars and average, um, the average purchases on a webinar. So I looked at it, if I had 150 people, 20% purchased a $397 product, dollar product, 20%, 10 to 20% is the average conversion, conversion rate of people being on your webinar. Okay. So 10 to 20%. So you got to break down the numbers. Um, you are actually only, I believe, let me just double check my numbers because I have a little cheat sheet on my wall. Um, the average conversion landing page. Oh, wait, where's the webinar show up rate? Oh, I don't have it on there. But bottom line is it, I believe that's only like a 20 to 30%. You'd be lucky. It show up rate. Now, granted, some people might not go to the webinar. You still then? With this, this all these warm lists, all these people that you've warmed up, you still can promote your offer to even if they don't attend the webinar. But you want to give a special bonus for people that actually are on that webinar and are live on the webinar. So you come up with some sort of special bonus for the webinar people, attendees. Got it. Okay. So anyway, so yeah, 20% at a 397, you know, would be a 12,000 return. And 10% would be approximately $6,000 return. So you got to look at your numbers. It's very important because if you're spending money over here, you want to make sure that you see an ROI over here. Yeah. So if you spend $4,000 on Facebook ads and end up getting a 6% uh, 
close rate, you may end up losing money, right? Do you have an idea of how much you expect to spend on Facebook ads? Well, this, this case scenario, it was $2,000 ad budget, 800 registered would have about 150 show up. Okay. So 100 registered. Wow. And so what kind of reach do you have to have to there? How many people do you have to get in in front of to get 800 people to register? It's, um, well, I mean, the average you can, you're lucky if you can get it down to two to three dollars per okay. lead. Okay. So if you yeah. did three dollars per times 800, it's twenty four hundred dollars. Okay. But a 2000 ad budget would probably be fine in my world just because um, I'm going to get people to register through other ways uh, organically. Right. Too. Cause you've got the meetup group and you've got exactly. folks that are on a list that know you. Okay. But if you were starting from absolute scratch, yeah, you might need to actually spend the money. But the bottom line is too, I'm really good at ads. Right. You know? Your so, mileage may vary. Yes. So, I mean, the bottom line is if you're running this campaign on your own and you've never done Facebook ads before, you could be paying five to $10. I mean, the average um, cost per webinar registration is three to $10. Okay. So you could, I mean, and I did it one time. I did it, um, a webinar registration. If you don't have the right wording, you don't have the right pieces in place for your funnel. If you don't have a good enough offer, if your landing page sucks, there's so many variables in this that you could be paying $10 a lead then because your stuff sucks. Sorry, that's really mean, but you know what I mean? Does that make sense? So it makes total sense. And just to be very clear, you've actually run these campaigns and set up webinars for other people. And if someone in our audience is interested in doing this, they may find some value in talking to you to have you do this for them instead of running around and doing it themselves. I, I, as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, all right, so now I got to figure out how to hire Janet to do this for me <laughs> because I've tried Facebook advertising and while it seems really intuitive and it's very, um, if you get into it, it's pretty clear what you need to do. That doesn't mean it's going to work. Holy cow. Is it frustrating? It's a launch. It's, a launch. it's kind of like this guy that just brought me in. Um, he just looked at me and he goes, yeah, I need your help. You know, I need your help more. So what we're, what I looked at was I, I go, okay. I looked at his ebook giveaway. I looked at his landing page. I looked at his thank you page. I, I had a, I, I put the X on everything. I mean, wow. I said, there's no way I'm going to convert any ads with what you're offering here. So we had to change the name title. We have had to change the ebook cover. Even we've had to change the landing page wording, completely change the thank you, everything, everything pretty much from scratch. We had to revamp because I just knew it wouldn't convert. I can look at things like that and just go, it won't convert. But now, now comes once we clean all that up, then comes the testing to what ads do we do to match? But you got to get that landing page right to begin with. So I always start with what is the offer in the landing page or sales page? Well, usually webinar landing page or ebook landing page depends on what your offer is. Mine will be a video challenge landing page. What does that look like and work your way backwards to the ads to, but make sure you get that content right first. Wow, there's so much more to do than I was even even <laughs> Sorry to overwhelm you. thinking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'll just yeah, I'll make some phone calls and this will be great. <laughs> well, yeah, and like, and Terry and I had a conversation that you can use your warm audience in the beginning to test and uh, test something. Don't go spending a bunch of money on Facebook ads until you know something's gonna work. Um, yeah, and it's important to get testimonials and get people to go through it, give you the feedback that you were talking about, tell you what works, what doesn't work, what they'd like to have improved. So you can actually learn from that experience, right? So, you know, in the world of software, they slap beta on everything until it's truly tested and rocking and rolling. So you yep. can have a, a beta program, right? I, I told Blab you. Blab was in beta forever, I think. Blab, I, I don't think it ever made it out of beta. Um, <laughs> LinkedIn was in beta for a silly long time and may actually still be. It's a, it's a really good excuse to say, hey, listen, we can still we make We don't have our stuff together. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Love it. Love it. Love well, it. Well, in all honesty, yeah, my community probably is still in definite beta, but 
um, it's time to finally take it to the next level. Could it still be beta? Sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You know, because there's changes to be made in the end. But now going to the next level now is that maybe they did decide it. Some people don't want to pay the ongoing, and I totally understand that. Um, I feel it's very needed in, I've, I've done the online course thing for years and people need more handholding. So that's why I've, I really wanted to get into a community, a community on a monthly basis where I'm feeding more content because social media changes so fast. Yeah. Um, no but now if they don't purchase, there's still the opportunity for other things and upsells. And now you have them on a list. So you, it's, it's the lifetime value of the people on the list. They might not purchase the first time around, but you still have content to put in front of them. And messenger marketing is even hotter because it's about a 90% open rate. They won't necessarily always stay, but they're going to be the ones more likely to show up when you can be right in their messenger five minutes before a webinar and 90% open rate. And is that process automated or are you banging out individual messages through well, Messenger? Okay. Yeah, no, Messenger will be an entire funnel that has to be set up pre done ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, another reason to hire Janet. Got it. Okay. <laughs> well, if I did every one of these pieces for you, whoo, well, I would do it, but it's just it's, it's <laughs> Janet, crazy. Yeah, it's kind it's of a crazy. Around. You know, my, my specialty is on the front, you know, on that, that Facebook ad and where to take them. But uh, messenger marketing is definitely becoming some, I could do everything. I mean, definitely I'll always, but email list building, I kind of leave that to the client, but I, t I guide them on what they need to put in there. But bottom line is most people already are building an email list of some sort or using some platform. They just have to set up that funnel specifically. To Got it. Cool. Yeah. So that's it. I mean, other than that, but just make sure you know your offers and also make sure that you know what you're going to be potentially promoting after that in the future too, so that it doesn't just stop there. Cause now mine's an ongoing thing, but if you were just going to do a, let me stop share, stop share. There we go. If you were just going to do a course, you know, four week course, like I said, keep it simple or week course you could do it taking that that funnel remove the messenger remove the group build the email list take them to the webinar i mean that's a simpler funnel that's the one that i will be walking through in, in my community the next call we're going to be walking through the simpler funnel this was a more complicated one but i would just want to show what what's out there and what um, I specifically would do for my business and will be doing. That's super, super valuable information. So when you talk about that four video, that kind of simple process, and you, you mentioned Zoom, which obviously we've been using for this show for at least the last year, year and a half. Um, yeah. Really cool tool. And, and I know multiple people can come on and, and kind of pay attention to what's going on, but I don't know what those numbers are. Are you releasing that as a recording or are you doing that? video series live um are you hearing me still oh yeah okay i changed my mic the whole time you, i you had did. the wrong mic on I mean, I can, it sounds different but i'm definitely yeah, hearing great you. i just realized that sorry guys it probably um, didn't sound that great i had to do it for a call yesterday nobody um knows. all right so the question you have the four video series which four video are you talking about the the one for your course that they paid for yeah, if you're saying, hey, we got this really simple, get it out, get it going, start this course before you spend a bunch of advertising dollars and just to, to kind of rock and, and get started and do something to engage people and enroll them to what your programs will be, right? You mentioned the four videos. Yeah, you could do Zoom. You could do, um, I know some people that just do it via webinar. So it's okay. more webinars. Um, Zoom has a webinar s system too. So, I mean, you could do it through the, well, either way. Um, that would be the main way is you want a place where people can engage with you. But you, um, so you do it live. You're not doing it as a recorded video. You're no. doing it where they can actually ask questions as you're going through and, and answer them together. Okay. Exactly. But the but to it is recorded. Mm -hmm. They have a place to put it for replay because not all people can make it live. Yeah, absolutely. And you can send them the link the next day. Hey, in case you miss it. Exactly. Ben, exactly. Benji I mean, Bruce I mean I've seen it home. I've seen it as simple as they, they set up the four four weeks, you do the live, you know, you do it and then you just send it in an email. 
I mean, it can be that simple. Um, I, for the community, what we do is we put it into uh, the community membership area. So we have it inside there, but if you don't have that set up, yeah, it can be as simple as just sending it out in an email. But if cool. you had a place for all the four recordings, I think it would be a better thing, you know, especially after the fact, you know, once it's all done, you could send out all four in the same spot. Something. That makes sense. Okay. I think, I think this has been really, really valuable information. I don't know how many people are thinking about putting together an online program uh, or how many people are like me and have been thinking about doing this for eight or nine years now. <laughs> I showed Janet the, uh, an early release video of uh, some of the things that so we were funny. building uh, from back in 2010. And it's, it's, it's son of a bitch if it's not the exact same conversation here in 2018. So exciting, very cool, very useful. Uh, and I think just to ultimately, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm really looking forward to the day that I know that I'm making money while I'm sleeping. Isn't that to me is the goal, right? In this tool, this internet-y thing. Um, I don't think it's a fad. I think it's going to be here for a little while. I would, oh, what are your gee, thoughts? I think so. I it's, think so. Might, it's got some staying There's power. Some ups and downs, you know, as we've seen, but you know, the bottom line is, yeah. And, and right now, as of today, and probably when you're watching this podcast, Facebook ads is where people are getting the most, you know, and Instagram's doing very well too. It's owned by Facebook, but bottom line is that's to get the people from a cold audience, but your target audience, that's the best place to start. Yeah, absolutely. And if well, you don't other than believe, phone calling, sorry, but if you don't believe that's true, and if you don't want to do that, go watch show 103, where you talk about LinkedIn ads, and we can figure out how to build that same funnel. <laughs> true. true. <laughs> but there's other ads, but you know, a lot more for them. Awesome, awesome. No, I think it's right. super valuable. So if you're not already hanging out with us inside of our Facebook group, we invite you to join us, businessgrowthtime.xyz, not .com. That'll take you to our actual website where you can see the 100-plus other episodes. You can look at podcasts and find all of those great shows with wonderful guests. So businessgrowthtime.com is our website. Businessgrowthtime.xyz is the Facebook group. You Anything you'd like to add, Janet E. Early Bird Johnson? No, no. Uh, the only thing I will add is by the time this show comes out, there's a possibility that my free, this will be happening. So we will put it in the show notes if it is happening at that time. Or we'll edit it if it's coming up the following week. It'll there be pretty close. So cool. And mine hopefully will be too, but I'm going to not... <gasps> Yeah, no, mine will be mine will be over. Oh, we're gonna hold them to that now. Uh, it'll, this thing will be my over. That'll be full by that time. Got it. Brute force, baby. I have no idea what I'm talking. Oh, about. that's great. It's, awesome. It's, well, it's, thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one. See ya.